a low cable single leg hamstring curl. So for this, it's going to require a bit of stability and you're going to feel your glutes at the same time as your hamstring. That is okay, but we really wanna focus on the hamstring contraction itself. So your cable is going to be as low as possible. You have your ankle cuff on. You're going to take a step back and this is where I want you to hinge at the hips. For standing upright, you're gonna be a lot more likely to use your low back and throw yourself back to get the weight. So if you have a pole or whatever you can stabilize in front, you wanna push against that with your body. From here, I'm going to use my kneecap as kind of a grounding point for the curl. So I'm thinking about sending my hip forward while bringing my heel back and up towards my butt. So hip forward, heel back, curl. So I feel it mainly in here, a little bit in my glute because of that hip extension. And when I extend, I'm going to bring my kneecap back in line with my other one and then let the cable stretch my leg forward. So my kneecap is still fairly in line. It's not way out here. This is a glute kickback. We're not doing glute kickbacks right now. We're doing a hamstring curl. So focus again, drive that hip forward, knee up, figure out where you're in line with the other leg, stretch it forward. So you're gonna feel this all through your hamstring one thing that I'd recommend if you do have access is either get a step or something like a yoga block, and that way you can elevate your other foot and you can get a better stretch in. So I'm still pushing, heel down, hip forward, hinged at the hips, my upper body never moves. And you're curling all the way up. You wanna try and get your butt as close to your heel as possible here. Allow for the stretch, drive forward, and up. Now, if you feel your stabilizing glute starting to burn, that's totally normal. It'll balance out over the weeks.